Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of the Inner Shaolin podcast, where you'll probably get some laughs, some knowledge, and enjoy yourselves. You At sure they're gonna? Help. You sure they're gonna enjoy themselves? So no. how's your weight? How, how's your week been, Jamie? Were you asking about my weight, bro? No, I'm not one of those girls afraid. I'm not ashamed. So uh, it's just you about know? your week. Week. <laughs> I know, but you started to say weight. That's because I have a horrible time speaking. Period. <laughs> How is your week? How is my week? Well, don't you know? Weren't you here? I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it was pretty good. But they don't um, know, right? You don't know, obviously. So it was pretty good. It was really busy. It felt like it went a little. Are we going to be doing this every week? At least once a week, minimum. Bare minimum, yeah. So then we should give them like a weekly report. We should. Yeah. So, you know, the week went by super fast. So, you know, give us a thumbs up if that was you as well, um, depending on where you are. Or let us know like how your week went. But um, it went too fast. It seemed like it Doesn't was... Doesn't it? Oh my God. It seemed it like so fast. it was like it was like Monday and then all of a sudden it was Thursday. That's what it felt like to me. And then it was like obviously Friday. And you then, know, boom, I was I was seven years old <laughs> and now I'm 41. I don't know. Time <laughs> how do flies. these things happen? Speaking of, you, you know, someone thought you were in your 20s. Someone did, thanks. And they thought I appreciate it. Fufu was I don't think a I look teenager. anywhere near 20, but I do appreciate it. The flattery is wonderful, and I sleep better at night. So you keep telling me. In case me you were wrong. wondering, you know, we might as well. So you're 41. I believe Sifu is four years older than you, right? I think he is. So he's 45. Yeah, he's getting old. And I'm 35, for those of you that are wondering. So we're not little kids, okay? Um, I mean, we're still kind of young, but we're not kids. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you that think I'm more like little, you know, toddlers teaching kung fu online, we're not. And I know, I, I know, I know, I have this. Like, <laughs> oh, but we love you all. Thank you, thank you for thinking we're so young and. Gorgeous. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make you guys my <laughs> accountability partner. Um, so you can see I have this svelte body, all, all you know. No, um, so I'm actually in the process of training and getting my exercise groove back on and. Cutting back on all the yummy food that I like, which is everything. I'm, I'm like a everything type yeah, of guy. Yeah, you really don't discriminate. No, I like food. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. I, but you know, it's funny. I'm strong. I'm fast. I'm agile. But I like to eat. Don't I like to eat? <laughs> you do. I do. I like to eat too. I like yummy, yummy food. Thankfully, I also like yummy, yummy, healthy food. Well. So yeah, I'm um, <laughs> in the process of exercising. And so if you happen to see me on the street or something, say, Yo, Porky Belly. What you doing? You want people to call you Porky Belly? <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll encourage me. It'll encourage me to keep the French fry out of my mouth. So you want people to verbally abuse you? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's oh, some more deep-seated, hidden issues here. But that's so, a whole other podcast. So what are we talking? Ta what are we talking about? Well, how, oh, how was your week? How was my week? It went um, fast, right? Well, you know, I feel better. I feel better. Well, that's good. You know, I'm starting to feel kind of healthier. Hey, you didn't get sick the past week. No, and I started exercising again. Hey. It's hard, you know, when you're sick, you have to feel your body out. If you feel like you can't exercise, don't. I made the mistake. So I started feeling better in January, and so I went gung-ho, went to the gym, and then and then I got sick again, right? And then I, and it, this was like this kind of revolving door. I'd feel a little bit better. I'd start getting out there doing stuff, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> My immunity system just wasn't up to par. It right. was a nasty. Maybe you guys know this at home, because uh, apparently all around, it's just been a nasty, 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 sick season this year. Well, basically, I, I don't know about wherever you're <clears throat> watching this in the world, but um, here in the U.S., especially, I would say, on the East Coast, the weather's been kind of bouncing back and forth. They'll be like, warm, and then it's cold, and then it's really, really warm, and then it's freezing cold. Right, it was like 70 forth, degrees last thing. week, and, and last night, this morning, it was 17 degrees. So right. going from 70 to 17, that's kind so of... So a lot of people have been getting job. sick in and out, and then, you know, your wife, uh, you know, she's a nurse, so she's always bringing germs in the house. Right. Then the, there's kids the kids are bringing right? germs always bringing the, the house. house. Right. So between that and then the weather, you know, you definitely have been battling a lot of stuff. Oh, God. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we've been we've been busy. We've, we've been churning out a lot of content lately. We yeah. have. Um, and we plan on, on doing even more. That That is our goal for 2017, yeah. just to keep on adding more awesome value, whether it's going to be these podcasts, it's going to be a blog post, or it's going to be, you know, YouTube videos and things like that, you know, Facebook Live. And we're doing it all for you guys. Yes. So this So we love talking about Kung Fu. We're definitely not just doing this for ourselves. Right, right. Yep. Um, so what are, what are we going to talk about this So week? this week we're going to cover a couple things. Like we're going to cover, um, is joining, enter Shaolin, 
right for you? Or any any online online program. program, is it right for you? Right. And is it not right or is it not right for you? Right. Who is it for and who is it not for? Because there's definitely certain people that can really um, just take off with the online learning environment. And there's some people that just really should not even go there. Right, right. So we're going to help you. If you've been trying to figure this out, you've kind of been on the fence, um, trying to figure out, like, is something like uh, Inner Shaolin's online training for you? Would it be something that would be helpful for your Kung Fu journey? Um, or if, you know, you should stick to just offline stuff, or maybe you should be a little bit of both. Um, I think we're going to start with uh, eliminating people off of this podcast first, right? Because, <laughs> honestly... Um, if you want to listen, though, if you, yeah, if you keep enjoy on listening, listening, listening. We love you. But I think, <laughs> I, I think what we need to do here is we need to get some real going on, or you need to get some real going on. Um, so let's talk about... Basically, people. we don't want you to waste your time. You we, don't you you we don't want you to waste your time, your money, your life. You right. know, it's, go do something. Life is short. Live it. Um, so, so we get people, right? I do a lot of customer service. That I don't do a lot of customer service. There's a reason for that. Maybe we should have a podcast on that one day. Not right now, though. Not right now. We're still trying, we're <laughs> tr- we're still trying to get people to like us. <laughs> you shouldn't have to try to get people to like you. They should just love you just because. Well, some of the things I have to say to some of the people that email, yeah, you know, you All know right. how I be. So, so I noticed um, there's actually been times where I've I've actually told people, told, not told. told See, you speak people, like you've been hanging out with me way, way too, too long. long. He's rubbing <laughs> off on me. Um, sometimes I, I've actually told people, do not sign up. And I know that probably sounds crazy, especially if any of you are. You tell people owned. not to sign up. Sometimes I do. What are you doing? Trust me, you would have told them way worse than that. Okay, <laughs> so there are certain people um, that I have told not to bother signing up, and that's because um, after talking to them, they started the conversation off in a very defeated um, attitude, just like. I don't really know if this is for me. I don't know if this is a scam. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. And I'll try to talk to them and, you know, work through those fears and, and those, and those uh, you know, misconceptions they have with doing things online. But if they just keep coming back, just negative, negative, or just really, like, um, just already, like, they've already quit before they began, that kind of attitude, then I'm just like, you know what, this is probably not for you. And I wish you the best and, and keep on trucking um, and find oh, what works for you. Like, for example, mm-hmm. for example, right? There's um, there's always people, questions, questions. I think you, there's not really a, a stupid question. There's not a bad question. Right. But some questions are just ridiculous, right? If, if you're trying to get an assurance, it's 2017. If you're trying to, if you're afraid to put your credit card information on the internet, Right then and there, you might as well end your love affair with anything on the internet because you cannot do anything online without putting right. this information in. I think we had someone say, um, can, I, can I join Enter Shaolin with a money order? Um, someone wanted to join Enter Shaolin with a check. Well, that's great and all, but there's a right. lot of... It's and a pain honestly, in the butt. I, for us, it is an extreme pain in the butt. Um, we did make an exception once for that, and it was because they wanted to join as a lifetime member. Um, and we did once for a yearly, but that didn't work out because it just was. Uh, we thought, you know, like, okay, well, every... Then I had to set up reminders to remind myself to reach out to that person to get them going for their second year. But that's um, neither... A Abbott lifetime isn't so bad because the person pays once and that's it. Yeah. But but people that are like, hey, can I pay my well, check the or fear. It's the, fear. the money it's, order because you know well, I'm afraid, well, afraid or whatever for a monthly. I'm sorry. If you're, I just don't have enough time to be dealing with that. That's crazy. If, <laughs> if you're afraid, so if basically it's like this, right? If you're afraid to put your information on um, in a database on 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 the internet, there's a whole lot, you're, you're not going to, you you automatically are not going to plug into the internet the way that you need to. Like, for example, we have an online, we have, we have an online community that people plug into. Um, we have play, you know, you have to, you have to be in the internet. And a lot of people have a problem with being in the internet and, and revealing who they are, what they look like, um, what, where they, where they're from. And the reality is people can find you. 
people oh, are going to yeah, find you can. online or offline. Even when I was younger, heck, dude, all you had to do was know somebody's name, look in the, in the phone book, you and know, find out where they live. And, and the being worried about people stealing your information and stuff like that, first of all, um, all of your information with Inner Shallon is encrypted. You know, if you go to the checkout, there's HTTPS yeah. um, protocols. We're using Stripe as well as PayPal, which have their own protocols as well. Everything's encrypted. I have no idea, like, what you paid with, how you paid it. None. Um, so you definitely don't have to worry about us stealing it. But just in general, that fear, you know, you can go pay for your gas and have your information stolen by an electronic reader that's a few feet away from you. You can go to go grocery shopping and all this other stuff. So I get why people are afraid because it does happen, these things. But the fact is you're just as susceptible when you go outside your door in person, if not more sometimes, than paying online. So I don't know. So, to me, that's null and void. But yeah, if that's a barrier for you, that's something you have to work on. Or you don't have to work on it. Or you don't on. have to work on it. I mean, the choice is always you know, I, th I think ultimately... Um, understand that there's. It took me a while to understand this as a business owner on the internet or as a business owner in general. Is you know nothing's personal; it's business. If you right. don't, if you don't want to give up your information, don't. You don't have to. But at the same time, you're not going to get nothing. Right. You can't. <laughs> right. You can't expect. You. Yeah. There, there has to be some kind um, of give and take. And that's there. just so. So that's right off. Right off the top of all of this. If if you have this issue, number one, with, with your, with, scared of putting your information online. Yeah, this is not for you. Yeah, it's just not for you. The next thing. Is if, if, if the Debbie down the Debbie Downer, right? Do you, I can't do this online? I don't have training partners. This isn't going to work. That isn't going to work. Right. Um, I'm I'm concerned if you're going to be here in 50 years. If you have more fear, if you have so much fear that right. you're paralyzed to do anything, again, this isn't for you. This isn't for you right? because if you're already coming from that place of self defeat, because I've seen it. I've there's actually been some of those people that I told like just this just isn't away. for you. This. They signed up anyways, and one even signed up, quit, and then re-signed up again. It was really insane just to re-quit. I don't know what that was all about. It was very, very bizarre. Um, just, just don't even go there. If you're already in your mind coming from a place of defeat, like you're not gonna enjoy yourself. You're also, not gonna have a good time. Um, and and if that's the case, like you can go fix that, but go f work on that mentality and that mindset first and then jump into your training because if you're jumping into your training with all that stinking thinking you're not going to get anything out of it you're just not right and also you know we're not talking about all of you right we're, we oh no 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 we're just we we're are, talking um, in general yeah we're talking in general we're trying you'll to, know who if this resonates with you if you, you're like oh that's that's me then it's you we're what actually trying not just to save ourselves a headache and not to save you a headache, but really we're trying to help everybody, um, save everybody a headache. There's, mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It's so much so, like, don't join anything online. Yeah, Don't, don't buy say, nothing off the, the internet. Don't, go hide. If you The mentality of the person who has a lot of fear of everything, you don't want to put no information out there. You're not going to do anything on the internet. Right. Stop, well, stop going to other places and buying stuff. You, you're actually causing grief. For other people who are working very hard in their lives to do whatever it is that they're trying to do because you have all this doubt. And not only that, you're defeating your ability to progress in, in mm -hmm. everything that you're trying to do because you're constantly, you, you've already training yourself that you're going to fail. Right. These things that we're talking about is not just stuff that we've seen in Inner Shaolin. Um, we've been online uh, internet marketers for quite a bit of time. And so we have seen these same uh, behaviors yeah, and these yeah, same mental blocks come up. You know, in everything that we've uh, done, uh, because it's just the nature of people. There's people um, that have, you know, these fears and they let them take hold of them and they let them keep them from moving forward and progressing the stuff that they say they want to do. Um, and they just like they don't. And then instead of blaming themselves from holding themselves back. They're blaming the, the, the product person or uh, the customer service person or this and the other. And they're really just lashing out. They're, they're angry. They're frustrated at their own lives. But instead of taking that and looking on what's going on inside and why these things are happening in the first place, they're just lashing out at whoever they can. Absolutely. Um, and so, the, yeah, then it makes it, it's just not fun for anyone. Um, so, you know, one... If, you, if you're scared to put your information online, you know, obviously online training probably is not going to work for you. Two, if you're already coming from a place of self-defeat um, and you're just, you know, worried about like, is this, 
look, we're going to do everything we can to be here forever. You know, we want this to be right, a we legacy. Often say, we often say, listen, if Enter Shaolin goes away, you better have your survival gear ready. You <laughs> better be prepping. That the, right. Um, that means the internet's head gone. For the, hills. the internet doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, there's prob- there, there's some real anymore. problems, and you don't have to worry about the internet anymore right. because there's big issues. Right, so, because we're we're not only you know trading up ourselves, you know, to God willing be here for a very 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 long time. But, you know, we're going to be training up, uh, I'm, at least I'm going to be training up my daughter. She's already wants to work for Anna Shaolin. Um, um, and I think, you know, you're going to be training up, you know, your, your daughter Kara as well to hopefully have that interest and stuff. So there's definitely things that we're working on to do our best to make sure that Anna Shaolin is going to be here forever in a day. But obviously, if the internet goes away, you're more than welcome to come. Um, rally with us because if the internet goes away, there's probably a lot of other bad stuff going there's, on, and we all need to band together. <laughs> that's that's what how I I think of it at least. There's one other person. There's I, one I'm, more. Yeah, there's one more person who who definitely just go away. Number three. Go away because you're a vampire. You're a time Ooh, sink. A vampire. You are, and I don't mean to say this in the wrong kind of way, but there's no right way to say this. If all you do is is make excuses. For everything in your life, and it's over. Everything is everybody else's fault, and everything's everybody right. else's problem. You're not the person who's at fault. Just go away. I don't even want to talk to you because I've seen plenty of those people where you can give somebody something and they don't use it. You mm-hmm. can bend over backwards to help a person and they won't listen. There are those people out there, and and for some reason they take some kind of pleasure in in airing their dirty laundry and their suffering and their turmoil that most of the times they're making that crap up themselves. It ain't like, it ain't like, uh, um, their life is any worse or better than anyone else's. Um, but that particular person, you need to just go away and stop bothering people because you're not going to be good at martial arts. You're not going to be good at any job you have. You're not going to be good in a relationship. You're not going to be good at anything at all because all you do is blame everyone for everything and you never take Mm -hmm. any accountability or responsibility for your actions. I like to say Enter Shaolin's a perfect example. Um, I, even at the highest that our, our membership is right now on a monthly level, it's less than a buck a day, I, I believe. I don't think it's a, even a dollar a day to be a member of Wait, membership. for the monthly? Yeah. No, it's less than $2 a day. Is it more than a dollar now? Well, it's forty seven dollars. How many days are in the average month? 30. I don't know. Oh no, your math. Oh, we're doing math. Okay, so so let me think. It's so, less than two dollars a day. Okay, so it's less than two. Okay, it's less than two dollars a day. Which is like nothing. It's nothing for somebody who's an adult and has a job, or even somebody who doesn't have a job and is maybe in a a, a situation where maybe they're on disability or. Um, but it really all comes down to man. If you again, money. it comes back down to if you're here, if you're watching the videos, if you want to do this kind of thing, and then you're looking at the cost of something, and and, and when you break it down, it's less than two dollars a day, and you have to first stop and go, what's wrong with my life? Right. If you're like two, less than two dollars a day, I mean, I'll be honest from training. Yeah, I'll be honest, dude. I dropped out of high school, and I'll say that's at the time right. of of this podcast. So if you're listening to this podcast, like. So a month from now, a year from now, whatever, whatever, the prices might be slightly different because every hundred people that we have active, we raise the prices so we can continue to afford. Yeah, basically what she's Shaolin. saying is if you want to join Inner Shelly, now's a good time because pretty soon it's going to be $50 <laughs> a day and you're going to be... $50 a day? I'm thinking big. I'm going up, 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 up. I don't think it's ever going to be fifty dollars a day. But <laughs> okay, maybe not fifty dollars a day. Just like twenty five. It might be a little bit more than two dollars a day. Um, <laughs> the um, you know, so really that person who who who's going through all that drama in their life. Look, I dropped out of high school, right? I literally, physically walked in human feces, I did. and I shoveled it into a. A hose. That was my life. I woke up at ridiculous hours in the morning so I can get a lesson, so I can get better. Right, you I worked went, extra hours. So I worked you could extra pay hours. For those lessons. I went from job to job. I, I sacrificed a lot for things that I love, and that goes in with. I mean, and that trend is in a lot of stuff that I've done with my life. I, I've put myself in. in, in, in uh, so that goes back I can't, to insurmountable. Is that yep. an insurmountable amount of debt in my life? in the pursuit of knowledge, in the pursuit of uh, growing, in the pursuit of learning, because it was important to me to better who I was. 
and I run into people who like you know uh, an example would be their their uh, construction worker. They have a, they can build decks and they can build houses and they can do this and they can do that, but they ain't got twenty seven cents to rub together. Why is that? Why is a person who's so gifted and skilled can never seem to make their ends meet? I'm I don't have any particular skills outside of what I know, but I utilize my skills, right? Um, there's so many people who have so much more. There's been people who I've taught who make more money than me. More oh, money I was, than see, me. I was about to say that. I was about to say some people, and I, and this may or may not be you. Remember, like we're just talking to everyone, and we're we're just you know sharing the things that we've noticed and the patterns we've noticed. We have met people that have literally made more money than you and I combined, and have less, and, and actually have less responsibilities. Less responsibilities, no children, you know, different things like that going on. And then and less the like, <laughs> and I'm less sorry, debt. I don't have any money to pay you this week or next week or the week after that or, oh, I can't afford that or this and the other. So a lot of times you can afford more than you realize. It's just because you're not but we're not here. properly. Listen, I'm not here That's to help you. That's a whole you with, yeah, another no. podcast. I'm actually writing an ebook. We're, we're going to gonna, we're gonna stop this. this conversation right now yeah, on yeah. this topic for this one reason. On this particular podcast, maybe on some other topic, but in this podcast, we're, my suggestion to you is... Turn off the internet, go sit in a nice quiet place, and think of why your life is what it is mm -hmm. because it's not right. It's it's something's messed up. And if you're the people we're talking about, just remember sometimes when see the Larry saying you, it's not you. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> but I'm gonna leave you with a tip. So I'm gonna leave you with a tip before I stop talking to you particularly. All right. Here's my tip. You are bringing into your world. Mm -hmm. into your life, into your existence, the very things that your mind is dwelling on. Oh, yeah. If you ain't got no monies, you ain't got no monies. If you're <laughs> struggling in this world, you're struggling in this world. And it's all dictated by how if, your brain if is If your day's it. horrible, your day's horrible. So the only person yeah. who can flip that switch is you. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, unfortunately, nine times out of ten, the person I'm speaking to right now, you're so thick-headed and stuck in your own ways that you're like, oh, and that, he, I, no, look, you get over yourself. And then and, and after years of talking to people like you it, in all kinds of different niches, um, in, in different walks of life, the, the, the personality is the same. Mm -hmm. The personality is the same, which kind of feeds back into energy work and martial arts and mm -hmm. how to feel what's going on. But that's a whole other story, too. We'll, yeah, we'll, the, we'll go, the sad we'll part is the different that. people that we're talking about, martial arts could help them tremendously to get over their, their, their mindset issues Ooh, and so all these negative. different things. Dude, this is such a negative, Ooh, Ooh. negative conversation. Let's, let's talk more positive but, stuff. But no, what I'm saying is Kung Fu could help them, but until they're willing to, to break down those barriers, Kung Fu can't help them. No. You know, I like to tell people all the time, like, I love to help people and I could probably help you and that person over there and that person over there. But if you're not willing to allow me to help you, I can't help hey you. Hey man, whether you're going, whether you're going. And then uh, that's how Kung Fu is. It can't help you if you're not willing to even give it the opportunity to help you. So if you're any of those, those three people that we were talking about, there is still hope for you. There's things that you need to work on yourself before you go looking for training. So when you show up to that training, you're now ready to learn and to grow. So who is this stuff for? Basically speaking, right? One last thing. Oh, one last thing. And this is why we're going to switch gears a little bit is that Kung Fu, and you know, whether you're going to see your doctor a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, um, a herbatologist, whatever form of medicine you, you're applying to yourself, it's all kung fu is a prescription. It's a, you know it's it's a medicine, and medicine is only good if you take it. Just because you know something, and if you don't apply it to your life, it's useless. So with that, let's move on, let's move right along to a more positive. I have one question. Uh -huh. Why are you holding the mouse in your hand again? Um, you, you really don't need to. You just put it down. I don't know. Release the mouse. Let it go. Mousey. Go. Here, we're going to put it in the wild. There we go. All right. It's going to make some noise right now. I'm sorry. And I'm going to put it down delicate. delicate. There we go. Okay. My hands are free. <laughs> They're free. Like Hallelujah. That. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> um, okay. So who is 
learning online for? Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> I used to believe that you need to go to a class, right? I guess because I dropped out in high school, I felt like I need to have a teacher to sit in front of me and, and tell me how to think and what to write and how to do this and how to do that. Um, even when, you know, I dropped out of high school, but I went back and I got my, my GED, my general education, and then I went forward into college. But by the time I went into college, I was like, well, what do I need this for? Right? Because the stuff that I was studying, health and wellness, um, weightlifting, uh, I was trying to do things that worked with my martial arts, right? So I can increase my ability to help someone else. I started to realize, dude, I could do this without them. Right. What do I need the piece of paper for? What's the paper going to do for me? Yeah. I'm not, it's not like I'm going to get a job. God forbid I got a job. I'm not a really good employee. Well, that, that was kind of the epiphany I had with, uh, with my going right. to college. Just, I, I could have literally just went and bought about $1,000 in books and taught yeah. myself the same thing because I, I was learning from the books anyways in class. Like, there was just no need. We're not saying, like, I, w- I want to preface, like, real quick. We're not saying that all education is bad or you shouldn't go well, to college. Well, no, if you've got something college. that you're going for. There's certain things that definitely you should go I want to a doctor with for. a PhD operating it on me. <laughs> Right, right. So, but but for for me, graphic design, I could have self taught myself, sure, saved myself tons of money, and I, and I would have been better off. And for what you were doing, it just you realized it wasn't making sense. That's why I actually didn't go get my bachelor's so, really, because I started realizing this doesn't make sense. I'm just putting myself further in debt, and I can just go learn more on the field. Right, studying martial arts online is is excellent for a person mm-hmm. who's a self learner. Right, uh, self learner number one. If you're a self uh, learner, you're, you you find yourself constantly going and like t- finding out things and learning things and, and teaching yourself stuff, whether it's from a book or a video, um, then obviously you're going to be able to pick up already right there. Number two. Number two. Eh, what's great is we talk <laughs> about this stuff for like a few minutes. Um, you know, we mastermind in the evening or in the morning. We don't write any notes. We don't write nothing on a whiteboard. No. And then we just shoot from the hip. <laughs> uh, number two, um, you have to not be afraid to spend money. I said it. I said it. Look, that's life, valid. You valid have to. Thing you have that. to. You have to spend money on everything in this world. What what kind of is. Uh, it drives me crazy, especially on YouTube. I always say you have to spend either time or money or both, well, and time is money. So really, yeah, you're spending you know, money on what, everything. Yeah, what, 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 what totally drives me crazy is the person who loves, 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 loves the information that we're providing them. Like this is amazing. On YouTube, right? Right. We, we, we got hundreds. I don't know. I don't know if it's hundreds. It must be hundreds. We have hundreds of hours of video flowing all around. I'm sure. I would say probably close, um, yeah. <clears throat> and we give really, really great lessons. Sifu Fu's got really detailistic lessons that we put up. I mean, they're awesome lessons. And then a person would be like, well, can you show me this too? And can I have that too? And oh, wait, you, you want us to spend money? Well, that's not right. You shouldn't charge money for this stuff. Look, everything costs money. <laughs> everything. And you got to somehow, you know, I had this problem <clears throat> where... I, I have some things <clears throat> to say to that person. I had, go I, first, though. I had this problem where I didn't <laughs> want to spend money on anything, you know, especially when I first when I first got on the internet back in two thousand and two. I didn't want to put my credit card on the internet. I was scared to. I didn't want to spend any money. I didn't want to put any money on on my credit cards. I didn't want to attach my bank account to anything. That only lasted. I got over myself because I wanted you had to, to, right? I wanted to, to move forward. forward in my you life. had to. <clears throat> so. If you're afraid to spend money, or if you look at life like, oh, that's too much money, the, you're the wrong person. The right person won't frown on that. The right person will, will see what they want and just go for it. They'll find a way mm. to get it. And so if that's you, and, and money's not really an obstacle, I, I'm, then it's then go, join. Whether it's us at Enter Shaolin or, or somewhere else. else. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, we, we always like to tell people, like, we're not... <laughs> We, we actually have noticed there's been a ton, ton a lot of people starting to create online courses on different uh, styles of martial arts and stuff. And a lot of people are like, aren't you worried? You know, all these... No. We're cool with the competition. Why? Because A, we're unique in what we're doing, and that's going to be a whole other podcast um, for another day. And B, you know, it's really awesome to see other people 
you know, figuring out different ways that they can get their message out mm -hmm. to the world. So there's something for everyone. So I always tell people like go with a teacher that resonates with who you are. Like when Sifu Larry's first started talking about Sifu Fu, I knew in that instant without even seeing the man, this was the stuff I needed to learn. So if you, you know, are the type of person and you're watching our YouTube videos or you're watching the free stuff on our blog and you're like, this is the stuff I need to learn, then find a way to be able to learn it. I had to move my daughter and I to a completely different state to be able to learn this, which then, thank God, hallelujah, praise the Lord, um, ended up being the, the catalyst to get both Sifus on board to want to finally make Inner Shell In, which is why we're having this podcast, which is why you're even seeing all the videos that you see now. So find a way. There's always a way. Even if you look in your bank account and there's not much money there right now, there is a way. You can cut certain things out of your life that really aren't that big of a deal, like cable, or if you're eating out on a regular basis, I can probably give you a bazillion ways to, to find the money if you want. Sell some stuff that you're not using anymore. The point is, if you really, really want something, find a way. So if you're that type of person, you're that go-getter, you're not gonna let obstacles get in your way, you're gonna find a way, even if you gotta move or whatever you gotta do, then this is definitely something for you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what else is this for? Hmm. So we've got the self self-learner, right? We've got uh, the, the person. Oh, oh, I remember, I remember. Okay, okay. So check this out, all right. I've been doing, I'm, like we said earlier, I'm 41. Um, my dad was making me do blocks when I was one years old, right? I've been martial arts my whole life. If you're in a, and all I'm saying is if you've been doing martial arts for five years or 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, mm -hmm. and you look at YouTube or any other video sharing place, and you're watching what people are doing and you're picking up on it, then this is for you. More importantly, <clears throat> I want to segue into this thought that mm -hmm. I was talking about last night. It's, it's, I think you need to spend a lot of money. And I don't think you need to spend a lot of money with me, with Inner Shaolin necessarily. I think, I think we live in a time period where for the first time in history of mankind, the history of mankind. So we take life for, for granted, right? We can turn lights on. We can drive cars. We can fly over the ocean. There's um, tap, boom, there's yeah, water. Yeah, the technology is, is an amazing thing. We, But, you know, martial arts, 60 years ago, 50 years ago, dear Lord, I'm getting old, 30 years ago, you you couldn't. You had, to, you had to go wherever was local to you. And it was whatever that person said had to be your gospel. You didn't have many options, right? There wasn't, well, there wasn't even YouTube. Or Google, you couldn't even look for other things. You had to go to bookstores, and you had to you look at DVDs or get magazines. Like, like you know, I don't know. I know I have a whole bunch: uh, Kung Fu mm -hmm. magazine, Tai Chi magazine, Black Belt magazine. Um, and this was this was the the knowledge that you were able to get. And if you were lucky and fortunate to to be independently wealthy, you could go fly to other countries, mm -hmm. maybe, and spend some time and train with some masters. <clears throat> Today, if you already can look at stuff. And go, that's quality. That's quality. That's quality. You are not taking advantage of technology if you are not going, I like that, I want to learn that, oh, I like that. Because let's let's break some barriers down, right? MMA is popular. Mixed martial arts is popular. Why is it popular? Because they were the first group of people to openly say, hey, you gotta have a ground game. You have to have a stand-up game. You have to have a clinching game. You have to have a kicking game. You have to have all these different games. And if you can't, if you can't go from you know one fighting range to another fighting range, you're toast. <clears throat> and in the early days, that's what they found out. But that's because it was the early days of media, <laughs> right? On television, and right. everybody likes superstars, and everybody, you know, woo! you know that WWF and crazy stuff going on but the reality is mixed martial arts is as old as martial arts period yeah. right we, people are uh, don't be naive to think that 700 years because let, what, what, let's talk about the advancements of martial arts in a thousand years nothing 
We still got two arms. We still mm-hmm. got two legs. We still do push-ups and sit-ups, and we do cardiovascular. We train all our body, kind of like we always have. Martial artists is, are, are old. The, the 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 way of life, it's the same. It hasn't changed, right? So 400 years ago, when a stand-up fighter was dealing with a grappler, that person in their brain went, whoa, maybe I should learn some grappling. <laughs> so just because the television finally caught up after a thousand years of being left in the dark, don't think that that by you saying, I'm a this kind of guy, like I'm a jujitsu guy, or I'm a Wing Chun man, or I'm a, a goju guy, or, or a taekwondo guy. It, don't isolate yourself because we live in 2017 and now you have the ability to learn as much as you want. Unless you want to. Like, there are some people that, that they, they're happy, they're excited, they just want to learn one style, that's fine. But if you're that person that is a, a seeker of knowledge and you find yourself being able to pick up tips here and there, whether you've been at it no years, a bazillion years, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you can learn from the free stuff you see on YouTube, then you can beyond definitely learn from the stuff that is inside and Right, right. For, is for the sure. point that we're trying to I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking to, to someone else out there right now who, who's like me, who's been training most of their life. And, and some of you guys who I know have been training a long time, if you're isolated yourself, if you isolate yourself to, you're just doing this one style and that's it. Well, dude, as a full martial artist to reach your full potential, you're shutting the door on that ability. And that's just a fact. Right. Right. I, you, we can argue all day long, which people have <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. You know, this style's better than that style. <clears throat> and that's just bull crap. It's bull crap. I feel that there's really good teachers. Mm-hmm. You can find a good teacher, you're blessed. But there's a lot of good teachers on the internet. And I feel, as for myself, that, oh my God, these guys are going to give this this knowledge in the way they see it and they're going to explain it to me and I can watch it. It's like, a, it's like, uh, it's like an encyclopedia of martial arts at my fingertips. I don't have to go into, uh, in, into like a Shaolin temple or go lock myself up in the mountains in the Swiss Alps. With some, I can just sit in front of my computer and, and be taught. Right. So discernment, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're, you know, if you're an advanced martial artist, Use discernment. If you're looking at stuff that looks good and you want to learn some of it, go ahead. Because I'm always surprised, mm-hmm. Jake. I can't even tell you how many times I'll see something mm-hmm. online and go, come here, Jamie. I got to try this out on you. It happens a lot. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we've joked, but like seriously, we should have uh, you know videos going like almost 24-7 on us, you know, like live office hours with Sifu Larry and, and, I, and, and, and Jamie. I, and because... I, you guys miss out on some right. hilarious right. stuff. And I buy courses. I'm a consumer. Yeah. I buy all kinds of courses. Look, here, a testament to, to the way that I live. Look, she's here. Mm-hmm. We have a website. I, it's, we study marketing. We study all kinds of stuff. Martial arts is no different. Right. right? We've I, learned from our own stuff. Like, we don't just go, oh, we make these videos and, like, yeah, go learn these. Like, we we go back and rewatch the stuff that we filmed and we test out and try out the stuff to see if it makes sense. And not, sense. not only that, like, Sifu yeah. Fu is my, he's my teacher, but he doesn't say, don't go buy this course because I'm your teacher. Right. I think we talked that's about that. that, that yeah, that's something, that's something that I think um, to be wary of, right? I, if you're in a situation where your teacher is telling you don't do this, don't do that, and this right, is bad, they, they and don't that's want bad. you to. They learn don't want you. And they yeah, want you to grow, they, that's and really a, stifling. That's a that stifles your growth. But by the same time, it the, the, it, it goes both ways, right? I can't. No, there's nothing more that I despise more than a person who starts training with somebody, gets all buddy buddy, and and, and you're my teacher, and blah 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 blah, and then maybe they don't feel like they're doing what they think they where they should be, and then they go, I'm gonna go train with this guy over here. That just burns me, and it burns me because it it if it's a good school, like sometimes it's all about money, and sometimes the teacher's really bad, but that's not every case. A lot of times, the the, the person thinks that they're gonna get something better over here. But the way that a person gets better in martial arts is, is partly by their teachers, but partly by the effort that they themselves put into what they do. So I never encourage a person to leave their teacher because you have to be in it to win it. Unless you're being like abused or 
treated yeah, as use horribly. Common sense, like, obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> if you know for a fact that what you're being taught is total like garbage, you know, we're not saying stay in that environment. Um, at right, all. but I want you to know that, that that's true for every single martial art. No matter what the martial art is, you're going to find garbage and, and you're going to find good gold. stuff. Right. Yep. And and garbage is garbage. But even in even with good good schools and good teachers, people always think they're gonna uh, the, the, basically respect the people who are taking who are dedicating their lives mm. to to enriching your life. Right. Right. So I wouldn't abandon my sifu, my teacher, because some other te- what I would do was find a way to make more money. Because again, if you're afraid, <laughs> so you can to, learn from more, if you're afraid right. to spend money, you probably shouldn't be doing more. martial art. Let's just say so you guys know there's two ways really. Uh, martial arts was taught to people. Mm-hmm. Number one, the person became a disciple and they gave up their life. They moved into the training place, whether it be a temple or a shack or wherever. And they, they helped. They helped, that pay, area. They, they, helped right. they, they helped keep the, the place going. So they paid with their time. They paid. They paid. They paid with way. their time. Right. Or they were they were independently mm-hmm. wealthy. Um, like uh, Ip Man, for example, from the, the popular Wing Chun Grandmaster, he wasn't poor. He was wealthy, actually. Um, Bruce Lee, when he trained with it, man, Bruce Lee wasn't a beggar on the street. He was acting years and years. His whole family were uh, they were an acting troupe or whatever it is. So, so be willing to invest in yourself if you're willing to invest yeah. in your education, whether it's time, money, yeah. or both. In the past, then then this is for you. Yeah, in the past, there was only two really good martial artists: the person who dedicated their entire life to martial arts and, and lived with the teachers or the person who had a lot of money they could pay and fund the growth of their martial arts. It's no different than today except most most of the times, you know, it's a little weird. I think they call that a cult nowadays if <laughs> people start moving into a place. But uh, the reality is that... Only sometimes is that a cult. Yeah, yeah. Like if they're trying to like make sure... Well, that should be another podcast. Okay. I'll just but so, off. So, um, the, so real quick, I wanted because, you know, you've been talking for a while. Am I talking a lot? <laughs> I don't think I'm talking that much. And you've kind of been weaving off subject That's a little bit. That's because I have ADD. And That's hopefully, right. they, hopefully they're still right. listening. It's still some good information. Are you guys listening? They're listening. All right. So, so you know, for those people, because we've gotten people, I kid you not, that are like, you guys shouldn't be charged for this. You should be giving this all away for free. Well, that's interesting. I don't know about what you do for your living to be able to pay bills and provide for your family, but this is what we do. Maybe it's not the same as some people that go get a job or whatever, but this is what we do. And not only that, but to be able to even make these videos and podcasts and to provide them and get them out there and to build the site and to maintain the site, all these things require money. So... We could give it all away for free, but we would be bankrupt. And then we wouldn't be able to provide you anything because we're going to be homeless. <laughs> and we're going to be living on the street. And look, and I'm not going to be like to eat. I'm not I don't want to be homeless. I'm not going to be like to like phone to even do video, you know, uh, video like that. We would, It just wouldn't be able to happen. So everything that we do requires money or time or both to be able to take it to the next step. So if you're the type of person that understands that and you see the value in what we're sharing and you also realize that, like, I kid you not, I have to say this real quick, okay? So you just said we like to consume more knowledge and we're always checking out stuff. I'm not going to name any names or anything, but... Bob. (laughs) No, it's not Bob. (laughs) No, it's not Bob. <laughs> Stop trying to trick me. <laughs> All right. So we got a course uh, recently that was a few dollars more than what we actually charge. And it was just on one topic. And for those of you who don't know, we teach Nodak Na, our own special system uh, of energy and physics principles from Sifu Fu. And we have Chinna, we got Wing Chun, we got Qigong, we got Tai Chi, we got... Uh, ground fighting, we got women self defense, we've got core training, and I'm sure there's probably something else that I'm missing there, but I think that covers the gamut. So this is just on one particular style, okay? One style costs a few dollars more a month than what we're charging for all that I just said. And we teach A from Z, like literally the how to, like see foo foo is gonna let you know, because people are like, how am I gonna know if I'm doing it wrong? You're gonna know, because see foo foo lets you know how to be able to tell if you are doing something wrong or right. So there's tests and different things that you can do to figure that out. So 
you get literally like you're getting a library of Sifu Fu's brain, okay, on tap, okay, meaning you can access everything right away that we have made from literally December of 2013 to when now, which is what is it? It's March something, March 6th, 5th? I don't know, 2017, somewhere around there. And that's a lot of training. Like we, we calculated it's over 700 hours of training currently, right? For $47 a month. This is other place that we, we went because we're like, wow, this guy's teaching some cool stuff. Let's go check that out. We're paying, I think, $49 or something like that a month. And we only got one video a week. Now you're probably wondering, are you guys going to cancel? No. No, I like, I like the stuff. Because we like the information. It's funny. So we're going to we're willing even though to us, I think honestly, um, as as people that have created courses, as uh, people that have an online training site, I honestly think that uh, said person is not giving enough information for that price. But we know the value of it is worth that so much more. So we're willing to go through that painstaking, slow process of getting that information um, to be able to do that because we see the value in it. So what I'm saying is, right, is we buy our competitor stuff. It's it's <laughs> it's it's insane. Like it's like what we are providing is like a drop in the like bucket, you know, price wise compared to what you're getting. So if you seriously think $27 a month, $37, 47, 57, 67, I'm going to go up to 97 a month is too much for all of that information that you are getting and to be able to get, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one help to be able to have your comments and questions answered on a regular basis and all these different things, then there is something wrong with you. And I don't mean to be mean, but there's something She's not wrong. talking about you, dude. You're all right. <laughs> right Yo, you're good. Love, bro. Love. You in the red shirt. We're cool. Um, but if you really do not value yourself, your training, your life, and your supposed love for Kung Fu and martial arts, to be able to invest that little bit, to be able to get so much for your, for your effort, your time, and your money, then there is something wrong with your mindset and you really need to go and relook at that and sit down and really you know dive deep why do you want to do kung fu why do you want to do martial arts because if you don't understand that why it's it, there's always going to be an obstacle there's going to be time that's going to get in your way there's going to be uh you know excuses that get in your way there's going to be money that gets in your way so who is this for again the person that's not going to let anything get in their way from learning the things that they love and that they want and they're willing to pay a premium price for it let alone something as ridiculous as less and than you know what that I. that's it, it doesn't mean you have to pay a premium price right so not everything costs that much money the point is if no, your but mind I'm they're yeah, their willing mindset, they'd be willing if to. your mindset is of this everything's too much money then, then that's just wrong. Mm -hmm. You should never approach anything that you do. And, I, and you know, it was like I bought a guitar. I've been playing guitar mm, again. Something else I've been doing my whole life. I, I like playing guitar. Um, and I think I got into my head. I got into my head. I, I had a bunch of guitars, and none of them really, all you know, five hundred dollar guitars or whatever. Um, and I thought, am I going to be playing guitar for the rest of my life? You know, and is it something that I want to really do? And I said, you know, I, I'm, I probably am going to play guitar for the rest of my life. So. What I did was, I went to a guitar, guitar store, and I sat down in the sound room, and I didn't look at no, I didn't look at any price tags. I simply sat down, and I started strumming guitars. I closed my eyes, and I listened to the sound of the guitar. And when I found something that resonated with me that I really, really liked, then I went ahead and went, oh my God, how much mm -hmm. is this going to cost? And you know, some guitars go up to twelve thousand dollars, and and they're very expensive. expensive. For a guitar, the guitar, and the guitar don't. And I was really buying an acoustic guitar. You still guitar. have to learn the guitar. Yeah. It's just and, I, and I was buying an acoustic guitar, and I just wasn't. I, I just wasn't sure. And so, long story short, the guitar that I I had fell in love with was a five thousand dollar guitar. Five thousand dollar acoustic guitar, right, for a piece of wood and some strings. That makes no noise unless you learn how to play it. Right. And <laughs> I just gonna uh, sit there. And ultimately, that's the guitar I bought. Not because I looked at it and went, I'm going to buy an expensive guitar 
it's because I closed my eyes and listened to what I really liked. Mm -hmm. And this is what I really liked. So when we say that the money shouldn't be an objection, it shouldn't be an objection. You shouldn't look at these things in the terms of how much is this going to cost. You look at it and say to yourself, how much is this going to benefit me? How much do I like this? How much do I want this? If you start thinking about the money of things, you're going to never do anything. Everything's going to be too much money because everything is a lot of money. Life is like that. So what? Right? You, you get an extra job, you save up the money until you can afford, especially with Enter Shaolin. Even with Enter Shaolin, right? Like, we're not telling you you're going to have to pay forever every single month. No, then pay our lifetime membership price. Yes. Right? Buy. Which that's is why still, we put it up there. Like one it, time. Yeah. You can save the money up and purchase it and you get it all for one. Really, dude, we're going to raise it. Every time I talk about this, it's going to $25,000. Well, right? after it's, we started buying other courses, just to see what other people are teaching, like what they're, what kind of information they're giving, because we, we've heard the time, oh, well, I I can get this over here for like you know thirty seven dollars a month. Well, that's awesome, but you're only learning one thing, and if that's all you want to learn, that's cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and, and you're probably only getting one lesson a week, and if that's cool for you, okay, go do that. Um, we started Enter Shaolin, but for us, when we yeah, we started we Inner started Enter Shaolin with the with, so obviously uh, this is what we do as a living. Right, mm-hmm. so there's no high in that. This is our this is our job. It's our business. It's our passion. It's mm-hmm. our calling. It's our life. But because we we are internet marketers, which um, those of you who are affiliates to Enter Shaolin, or those of you who might want to be affiliates to Enter Shaolin, um, we started uh, as internet marketers mm-hmm. in terms of before Enter Shaolin got to you, and so we wanted to make sure that we over deliver. Yes. In value, and sometimes we buy stuff and see things. And we're about, like, oh my god, we we're ripping really, ourselves off. Right, we should go raise our prices <laughs> right now because off. because how much we're spending to be able to even run. You know, we we really are. You know, kind of cutting ourselves off a little bit right now, trying to help more people be able to get this awesome information, this library of information and for a ridiculously that, you know? affordable price. And, you know, it, so it, we're it, always we're always over delivering. So yeah, every, when we go and look at these other courses, we do look at them objectively because, you know, a lot of times when people are like, oh, well, this is cheaper over here or oh, blah, blah, blah. They're not looking at it objectively. How much content are you actually getting? How many hours of training are you actually getting? Are you going to get one-on-one help? Can you ask questions on the lessons? How many lessons are you going to get a week? Is it going to be able to sustain how much mm -hmm. you want to train throughout the week? Or are you going to be like, man, I'm really bored. What's next? You know? We, we look at it like we, we've built in our shell and we continue to grow it and build it with what would make us happy as is not only consumers. consumers, but as martial artists. And to be able to give you guys the biggest, best value oh, you yeah. possibly Dude, can. I, and our shell, um, and our shell in was created with the idea of, I, I've been training with Sifu Fu now for, for decades. And um, one of the, pro- it took me, Okay, so let's let's phrase this way. We'll we'll mm-hmm. close off this podcast with this last bit of conversation because I think now we're running close to about the time when we should make another episode. <laughs> um, well, did we cover all the people? I think we did. We'll recap. I think we did. Um, but I want I want I want to give like an accelerated growth tip: how you go from where you are right now in your mm-hmm. martial arts and make a hundred and fifty thousand percent increase in your skill, almost like that. That's a pretty kind of hot topic. So, I noticed, right, that sometimes you have to hear things a bunch of different ways. As a matter of fact, it's scientifically proven if you hear things more often, you'll actually retain more of that information. Mm -hmm. And if you're already training um, and you already have an idea, right, you, you need to understand that fundamentally all of martial arts is the same. But sometimes things aren't being said to you the way that you need to understand them. So that's why if you happen to be that person who can learn on the internet, so you know, if you've seen some YouTube videos, mm-hmm. you're practicing some things. Right, you're a visual learner or an auditory learner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You actually can accelerate where your skill level is right now simply by watching some videos and then practicing the stuff that you just seen. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, both Sifu, Sifu Lair and Sifu Fu will tell you 
that our online students are kicking their offline students' butts. You want to know why? Because they can train whenever. So, yeah. And they can repeat that information. So, when I was taking my lessons. On top. Yeah, see, yeah. I'm so, I'm so ADD minded. But, but so, this is great. So this when, is a great so tip. So, when they I was need, taking my lessons, it took me forever. Like, it took me a year of, of practicing my Tai Chi form every single day because I couldn't remember the dang form. Because as soon as I walked out of class, it was gone. Right, right. And so, I had to go back the next week. Mm -hmm. Right? And go, okay, oh my God. So after this part, I gotta, oh. And then I would go back home and practice and then I'd make up a part in the middle and then Sifu would look at me and it, go, right? what are you doing? And I'd be like, oh. Right, with online training, that helps bridge that gap because you know you have us to help correct the stuff uh, through video, through you know our commenting and different things like that as well. We also have where you know they can do live interactive, uh, you know, video lessons and whatnot as well. You're gonna be able to retain so much more, and we've seen it with our own students. Like they excel over the people that well, are training with. I have I have students who seem to struggle, um, or have struggled learning forms and doing stuff. And then we have we have people on our on the internet and it's just like, whoa. You wanna why? Because they're going back and watching those videos. I you know, I feel horrible about this. I've only been able to like train some of the videos, but after see mm. our family mm. members have inspired me to like <laughs> go in and use that because you know, sometimes you take for granted. Like I, I have a seafood right here, right? And so I get to train on a uh, you know, I would at least say semi regular basis depending on our workload with our Shaolin. It kinda of ebbs and flows. Some weeks we get more, sometimes we get less. And you know, sometimes I, I get so busy with taking care of Anna Shaolin, I don't have a chance to go back and rewatch a video or whatever. But because I keep seeing like how amazing our students are doing, I'm now making myself find that Medical. time to go back and do that because I, you know, I have ADD too. <laughs> and so Can I'm you struggling. Two ADD people trying to move forward. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it works though. It, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Um, so they've inspired me uh, to really go back and utilize this resource and not, you know, take for granted for the fact that I have this resource, even though I have a Sifu right here as well. And, you know, I think what ends up being really beautiful is our, when our offline people are able to come to a seminar or come to do uh, some one-on-one -on -one training with us, it just, it just makes it click for them even more because they've already have such a good foundation because they've rewatch those videos so many times to get them down all they need is that little bump and that correction here or there and it just you know they just fly with it and and you know for those um of Sifu Fu or Sifu Larry students who are not on Inner Shaolin yet shame on you I'm just gonna say it shame on you find a way to get on there because I promise you it's gonna take your skill through the roof do not take for granted uh, the fact that you have this resource at your arsenal as well. So let's recap real quick. Who is this not for? This ain't for the person who has scarcity mindset. Right, afraid to share their information online. This isn't for the person who everything costs too much money for. Right, scared to, yeah, scared to spend money, basically. This isn't for the person who can't get out of their own way. Right, right. They're already self-defeated. They're already expecting for this not to work out. They're already worried about, you know, will this be here tomorrow, the next day? And yeah, if your question, if your question, if your question to customer service, you know, our <laughs> customer service team of people who might actually answer back to you. Um, In a friendly, nice way. If the question <laughs> is, if I join today, can I get a refund? Just go away. Right. First Just of all, go away. If you go to our join page, it already says there's a there is a, day. There is a refund. Questions. But the, the point that you have to email us and, and you're like, um, I can you're I, Right. You're already worried about losing your money. God. Ugh, dude. I don't know. I don't want to hang out with you. I just don't think I'll like you as a human being, First, a person. I'm not lying. Go read. It, th we're not hiding that there's a refund. I mean, look, if you, if it, I get the fact, <laughs> if something doesn't work out and it's not right for you, okay, no hard feelings. Right. We want you to get, I want to give you your money back. I don't want your money if you're not happy with what we're giving you. That's cool. Hmm. But if, you're, if your conversation 
starting your conversation with me is how, oh, how am I going to know you're going to be here next year and can I get a refund if I don't see I see you see how she says that all I hear is I'm like, goodbye because I don't care I don't want your money that much I don't want I just it's not like that I want I want to train people who I like who I will hang out with. Right. I want to train people, people that who are, are yeah. excited, excited about to, to learn what we're sharing. Not people who are doubting everything or concerned about everything. I definitely don't want... You know what the worst thing is? The worst thing in the world for a teacher is to pour your heart and soul into mm. somebody and then have them show up next week and don't even know what the hell you just gave them. And you're like, did you even listen to me? Right. I don't want the person's money that bad. I actually feel bad that I am not able to help someone. But that's a personality. So, so right. all you people, just right. You know what? Maybe you're work, better work off. On, work on yourself, right. and then come back if you can start getting solitaire. Might be more your style. Play some solitaire. So yeah, if, if you're that Debbie Downer person, you're already self defeated. You're out. This is not. <laughs> Do not something else. This is not Do for you. Else. Okay. Um, I think there was another person too. Oh no, man! I think we covered all mm. the tire kickers. Basically, long story short. If, if you are already doubting yourself, you're afraid of everything, then Kung Fu can help you. But only if you allow it to. So you have to work on yourself, work on that mindset, so you can prepare yourself right, to be ready to learn. Right, because it goes back into how you see your world is how your world is right. actually. Right. So if you see misery and suffering Ugh. and loathe, loathsomeness this stuff, Stop, dude. Don't, <laughs> don't. I'll hit you. Don't laugh at me. I'm gonna. I'll block. I'm gonna be emotional. Keep going. Um, Why are you gonna hit me? Because you were laughing at me, and my lack of English. Even though I'm speaking. But English. but I was laughing. Were you with laughing you. at me? Was yeah. this like it was like a no, laugh? Yeah. Yay. Uh, um. <laughs> so okay, we're talking about who this is not for. So you know, the tire kicker, the scarcity mindset, the person that's afraid to spend money online. The person that blames everyone and everything but themselves for their life circumstances, right, right. right? Who is this for? The self, the self learner, right? This is for you know who Enter Shaolin for or is for or who um, any online martial arts sites for? It's for a person who is a visual learner, a visual learner, and an audio auditorial learner. Auditory learner. That's the word I was looking for. A toy learner, self learner, a person that is going to not allow the simplest things to derail them from their dreams. That person's got a lot of uh, good mindset. They've got a lot of willpower. They're willing to find a solution to get past whatever obstacles are going their way. Um, a person that has saw our other videos and been able to learn from them. Obviously, if you can learn from our YouTube videos and whatever, then you can definitely learn and from the stuff that we have a person has an online mind. as well. An open mind person. Right. Like like um, a person who is not a stickler. You know, you have to have an open mind. You have to have an open mind. If you can't expand how you see things, uh, you're going to have a hard time learning online because nobody teaches the same. Everybody's philosophies are different. So you have to have an open mind and listen to what other people are saying and actually listen. We had this conversation uh, with our children. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listening is a, is a very important skill that you're supposed to learn when you're a child. Mm. But unfortunately, a lot of people never get that basic skill of listening. And it's a great skill. Listening doesn't mean have an opinion in your mind while someone's talking to you. Listening means empty the mind, physically hear what the person is trying to say to you, and then think about it. <laughs> That's listening. Oftentimes, people do not listen. They hear you, but they're thinking something else in their own mind, and so they're not actually understanding what you're saying to them. So it's important to be a good listener, and it's important to be open-minded. Mm -hmm. So if you're open-minded... If you're a good listener, and it's also important not to care about the money, right? Not well, to, that goes back to that person to that's not going to allow because money. To get in if, you, if, you if, if you're like, I'm going to give this, especially, in especially in kung fu, especially in kung fu. If you say to yourself, I'm going to give this a few weeks and see how it goes, you might as well just not join. Right, right. You've already. You know how done. long is it going to take to get <laughs> to here? It's going to take you as long as, as, it long as it's going to take you. Be it three months. Three years, 40 years, 
That's how I skipped over the 30 years. <laughs> it's going to take a while. And it's going to take a while because I, I'm still, I still, I go, You're I, I, still, I, go Sifu, I still ask, am I going to be good? When am I going to actually be good, Sifu? And he is really good. And, so, uh, well, but, 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 but do you hear me grovel when I change? I do. I cry. Sometimes, yeah. Because, be okay, buddy. because, because, <laughs> because I'm always trying to be better. Yeah, I always, always I always tell people that. when they're like, "So, will this take a year or two years?" It will take. It's a gonna lifetime. take. Yeah. So if, if money is you're an gonna, objection, it's, it's gonna. You're always gonna be growing. You're always gonna be getting better. You're always gonna be learning new stuff. And if that's not for you, you want like to get a black belt in like five years and be done and think that's all there is to martial arts and kung fu, then inner shellen is not for you. Right. Right. We're for the, the lifetime so, learner, the person that wants to grow and to keep on continuing. So, um, to to wrap up this episode of um, just, of our podcast uh, number two, podcast two, um, if you are listening to us and you're not watching us, um, check us out on YouTube. We have two channels, and mm-hmm. Michelle Lin, and we have Enter Tai Chi. Mm-hmm. They're both our YouTube channels. Check us out at our website, which is yep. uh, EnterShaolin.com. Yep. We have a fan page on Facebook. If you type in Enter Shaolin, you'll find, you'll find us. us. <laughs> We have a Twitter account, and guess what that is? Enter Shaolin. How'd you know? I don't know. I just guessed. <laughs> um, we have an Instagram account. Which is Enter Shaolin, or no, it's Enter, enter dot dot Shaolin, because um, we won't even go there. But I it's Enter dot Shaolin. So basically, you know, we're, we're, if you type in Enter Shaolin, you'll find all of you our different You'll find us, places. yeah. Yeah, so um, definitely come check us out if you're on any of those platforms, and, you know, give us some love and get connected. Oh, and, and if you don't know... We have that. We have we're an also intro. on SoundCloud, and we're working on uh, fully integrating with iTunes right. as well this um, week. If you listen to us for the first time, mm-hmm. we have we have an intro course. Um, yes, we do. That's 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 free. It's free. It's free. 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 It, and it and, and you want to cra- <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what the crazy part is. So you get five videos. We, we you know when we opened when we launched Enter Shaolin, we were given a mm-hmm. five day video course. We condensed that into into one membership, mm-hmm. and we added bonus stuff. Like there's, I think there's an extra three hours of training. That's that's a bonus to the free thing that we're giving. Oh, there's so, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So we're giving you a free thing, and they're putting a bonus. Like I said, we're not charging you enough. <laughs> it's what yeah. it really comes there's a lot down of great to. free stuff. So <laughs> if you're not sure if Enter Shaolin's for you, check out check the free it stuff. Out. Check out the free stuff. That's a you... Enter Shaolin forward slash ebook. Ebook. Ebook, yeah. So look at the ebook. Look at the the five free videos plus some bonus videos, uh, plus a library of all of our uh, YouTube videos yep. as well. Just trying to make it easier for you guys to, be able to access more information. Access to our world famous community. Right. Is it world famous? Well, it's around the world. So it's world, world famous. famous. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, and oh, we do mean access. Funny. Um, you'll actually be able to communicate. With members of Enter Shaolin, right. and you don't take our word for nothing, right? You can ask our members. Yeah, you can definitely you know, talk to our members and, and see what their thoughts are. And if you want to challenge Jamie to a, a death match, she's game. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. If you make me mad, we'll talk. But um, um, but yeah. So you know, just and to wrap everything up, you know, if. You love what we do, then you'll really love what we have. For and you if you love what Shaolin. we do, and if you don't love what we do, that's okay too. We love you. We still love you, anyways. Right? But go find something that you love. Okay? For God's sake, do something. Because life's too short. Be happy, okay? <laughs> so if you like the if you like the podcast or you like any of our videos, Where are we share at? it, like share it, it like pass it. it along. Send us a comment. We love to hear from. Yeah, you let us know. Stuff. Hey, you guys are doing great, or yo, dude, that's something terrible it's not anything just don't make me cry just don't make her cry because she (laughs) she may cry and then if she cries i'm gonna cry and if we're both crying then we can't get work done that's true all right right. we love y'all and we'll see you next time and yeah